building on our daily inspection check for trailers. We wanted to then take you to the next stage, which is an interim service, which simply involves lubrication and checking the brake adjustments. So we've done our visual check already. The main things I'm concerned with is any major wear and tear in the draw tube itself, just to make sure that there's no severe up and down or side to side movement within the actual coupling itself. The next thing I'm going to check is to make sure my grease nipples are in good condition and they're still there. Then I'll take my grease gun and actually apply grease to the coupling, which means two or three squirts of the grease on each grease nipple. And you will fill when the grease nipple is full because the pressure will drop. Now I'll move on just to make sure that the brake rod, whilst I'm in this position, doesn't have any severe slack. And I'll also check to make sure my handbrake lever comes up to approximately the 10 o'clock position on a clock face. I'm happy with that, so I can now release my handbrake lever and I'll now move to the hubs on the side of the trailer. So as I said, this is just a lubrication and brake adjustment service. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to check the adjustment on the hub and the easiest way to do that is to simply remove the wheel. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to just check is to make sure that this hub is rotating freely and I'm going to be listening out just to make sure there's any uh, resistance in the hub. Just to be double sure, I will actually just use the, identify the nut on the back of the hub, which is the adjustment nut, and I'll apply my uh, ratchet around here and I'll actually make sure that I tighten the hub so there's no further movement and the hub is actually solid and I can't move it. Once that is the case, I'll then back off the nut going in the opposite direction until the hub can move freely again and I'm just hearing that slight resistance within the hub itself. Finally, uh, once I've checked the adjustment on the hub and I'm happy, I'm going to just double check to make sure that there's no slack within the brake linkage mechanism. So the first thing to do is to get hold of the brake rod and just give it a tug towards the back and if there's no a movement then I'm happy that everything's adjusted correctly. I will just double check to make sure there's no slack in the brake cables. If there were to be any slack in this brake rod all I simply need to do is slacken off the lock nut here and tighten up the ball nut which is behind it just until the slack is gone then I'll just simply tighten up the lock nut and make sure that everything's secure again. Once that's done, then I will find that my handbrake lever will come to approximately the 10 o'clock position. If it hardly lifts at all, then I've over adjusted the brakes and I need to just come back and just make sure that there's some slack or allowance for movement within the system.